Promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Hit me, Sam Ant, at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. Let's go. Was at KTLA Channel 5. That's where they shot it. Also, Judge Judy and Maybelline Ephraim from Divorce Court. She was yeah. shot on the same lot. And it used to be the Warner Brothers studio before it became the TV studio. It's right at Van Ness and Sunset Boulevard. Now, they renovated the offices for my show. We called it the plantation because it looked like that. So when they tore the sheetrock down, we discovered these steps that went down to some underground passageways. Mm. And it was fascinating walking through them because they had diagrams. And the person that had had this office where the executive producer occupied for my show, Cecil B. DeMille, who had been the big man for Warner Brothers way back when, they were maps and diagrams so that he could go underground and up some stairs to these bungalows that used to be at the top of the stairs go in through them so nobody could see them. And they had all of these starlets were there so he could do casting couch stuff. Wow. Nowadays, that's very unpopular to do the casting couch thing. But 50 years ago, 40 years ago, 45 years ago was not unusual. Now they still do casting couch, but it's not heterosexual anymore. Can you explain exactly what the casting couch is for the people who don't know? Well, that's when you try to jumpstart a questionable career, not with talent, but by... Uh, Got you. Uh, uh, we'll make an exchange <laughs> for the part, you know. Right. Wow. You know, that, that I did have a few other questions, in particular to some of our soul queens in the industry. My first one is about Aretha Franklin. I don't know. I, I think you, you probably oh, had to hear about that's it. That's what's going on now. About yeah. It. How they're trying to say the woman are free and people are transgender. People are now offended or, or whatever the case may be. Okay. The you know, like they do this to our legends. It's, the it's answer crazy. to that one. What are you and you, what am I and everybody else you see, except for very, very few unfortunates who came out of a test tube. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. A so successful good. screw. Yeah. Yes, sir. And to have a successful screw, you need a man and a woman. So I got born to a natural woman. You got born to a natural woman. You got born to a natural woman and everybody else did because they don't have machines for that these days. So we're supposed to throw natural women out and get upset with somebody singing it because we've got what amounts to the trans community. It's somewhere around three tenths of a percent of yeah. the country's population. So because that little minuscule amount gets upset because they have some problems with themselves, that doesn't mean the rest of us have to get into that. That's their business. Right. It's your freak on in your bedroom the way you want to get your freak on. But the rest of us, we don't necessarily go with that flow. We're not riding with you. Right. Yeah, your bedroom, your business. Um, my next question would be about Whitney Houston. I don't know if you've seen the, the Lifetime movie. My um, I, somebody had it on in my house today. My wife had it on in the house, and I'm listening to it, and I'm like, "What the hell is this?" Like the first ten minutes was about Bobby Brown, and then the drug use, and then further on. It always seems as though when they highlight Whitney Houston, it's never about the good. We never get to hear about her greatness and how she grew up in any of the good. It's always glamorizing what we all know and being the negative. But what's your thoughts if you've seen the movie um, from Lifetime? What's I'm not going to see a movie like that. Yeah. And the other thing, too. Well, I don't think it's exactly accurate to put the blame all on Bobby Brown's shoulder. After all, he was considerably younger than she was. Mm -hmm. And some others might have something to say about it. Mm -hmm. I had bodyguards and security and some of them 
had been involved and what they had to say was not necessarily what the mainstream media was saying. So everybody has to take responsibility for their own actions. And part of this thing is not just trying to tear her down. That's not what this group is doing. They're trying to show you that it's all right. In other words, if you want to go do this, okay. Mm. It's always advantageous when you get attracted into something and then you self-destruct. It means they don't have to worry about you. And getting into that means you don't create mischief by trying to do something effective. Definitely appreciate you, Judge Joe Brown, on the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Once again, uh, drop your businesses, your social media, anything else you want to say right now. The floor is open. Yeah, down. I'm running for mayor of Memphis, Tennessee. Yes, sir. Uh, please visit JJB2023.com. That's Judge Joe Brown in 2023. Just take the initials JJB2023.com. And see what we're up to, what our policies are about. We just put this in place. The election is in October this year. You can contribute because a dollar for me is a dollar for yourself. If you live in Memphis, a vote for me is a vote for yourself. I'm trying to straighten things out. I'm not trying to hide what I'm about. I'm very open when it comes to me. In other words, I don't care whether you like it. It's what you need to hear. It's what I've come to think with a half century of experience in dealing with this, that these are the ways to get solutions. These are the ways that you can find yourself. These are the ways that you can grow. And I'm trying to pass it on. Now, Memphis can become a mecca for this country, and we invite you to immigrate. Be legal now. We don't want any illegals, but if you're legal, come on through. JJB 2023 Shin Brown downtown. Take back your town. It belongs to you. Now, there's another JJB 